Okay, I've got everything uh, set up. It's got a lot of parts of Prime, but I need to get some paint on it because it's been sandblasted. What I did is uh, I put some weld through Prime on some of the areas I have to go back and weld, and I'll just uh, paint around those just to get a little bit of primer on this. This is parts for two projects here. Paul made this nice little stir. <laughs> Got these all primered. It's not going to win a uh, concourse to elegance, but for a trail jeep, it should work. I've got that uh, weld through primer over some holes that I want to repair, so I just avoided those sections. And I'll be able to weld this in and then hit it again with the. But this tub is in really nice shape. did some repairs on the parts that go to the World War II Jeeps and then I reprimed them and then painted them with the, uh, the top coat or the finish color. So coming along these pieces that aren't painted green are for the next project for the M38. brake lines now and since I'm kind of doing a World War II tribute Jeep I'm gonna um, I made some little brackets to hold the um, brake lines just like the uh, World War II Jeeps have Okay, we've got the brake lines run. Ran it like a World War II Jeep would have had it run, uh, except of course it's 11 inch brakes. Um, I had to weld a couple brackets to mount the um, brake system to the axle, front axle, as the World War II style is. Put a little paint on there where I had to weld, but moving forward,
Well, I'm working out the exhaust system now, and I'm not going to run it like the early World War II or the World War II standard exhaust because this puts it in a bad spot to get crushed and stuff. So I'm going to run it out the back like the later war uh, deep mud exhaust. Um, I have a CJ28 kit that runs out in a similar path as the deep mud. So I'm going to use that, but then I'm going to just convert it to um, like a deep mud exhaust type system. So um, getting there, just working out all the little details now.